Alrighty folks, here is my 70 Plymouth GTX. Um, it is a uh, very nice car. It is a ver real head turner. Everybody really, really likes its color scheme. The, um, the hood is not, uh, the uh, white hood is not real. That wasn't original but I just liked it so much. I liked the white and the subline together like that. It's just, in my book, so tasteful. And that's why I did that. The sun isn't the best here. The lighting isn't the best, so hopefully this video isn't too bad. But this is the uh, interior. sweet looking ride it really is there's a little bit of a kind of a ding right there it could probably be pushed out the uh, paint is not perfect I won't try to say that it is but it's still a very very sweet looking machine license plate frame says and I'll just let you guys read it so they're customized plates if you're a uh, Utah buyer you might be interested in keeping that name or the plate number It's got a 440 in it. Uh, it's not, not the original motor, but it's got the purple cam. Runs really good. There's no knocking or no, no any nothing wrong with the engine, the way it runs. It's just a really sweet looking machine. I'll see if I can reach in and turn it on. I guess I can't without the keys. Let me grab them here. I'll make another video. Add another video. Add it to this one. All right, guys, we're back here. I got the keys this time. It has a uh, aftermarket stereo system down there but that's just really kind of tacky put in there you can really easily take it out it's not nothing special I put in a couple of extra things like some speakers and stuff but all that stuff is really easily removable if you don't want that in there you want to keep everything original car needs a couple little things here and there I'll discuss that with you when you call me that's actually in really good shape. Strong running motor, which sounds really 
good. There's no aftermarket stuff on it. The battery's not original. Most everything else is though. Take a peek underneath. I didn't detail and redo the, the underneath, but it still is in really good shape. No rust. say it's not a frame off rotisserie restoration but it's still uh, still a really nice unit Concludes the end of the, of the video, guys. I'm about ready to run out of time on my camera. Anyway, this is a real head catcher, head turner. Ah, I got a little teeny bit of a leak right down there. That's just coming off the valve cover, though. I can guarantee it. I can take care of that. Anyway, I'm going to shut this thing down. You can call me if you're interested. Thanks, guys.